Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make some hanging magical particles. It's a great way to add some depth or mood to your environments and super easy to do. So let's jump into it. I've created this magical Glen, which we're going to use as our backdrop. The first thing I'm going to do is jump over here to my folder I've made called FX, which is going to be where I'm creating my Niagara simulation. I'm going to be right clicking in the empty space here, choosing Niagara system and I want to be creating an empty system. Hit finish and I'm going to call it NS and magic dust. All right, double click that to open it. So I'm going to be right clicking in the empty space here and creating an emitter. And the emitter that I'm going to be starting with is called hanging particulates. Once I have that created, go ahead and hit save and minimize and drag this into my environment so I can see it starting to populate. This is looking pretty good actually. However, we're going to modify a few things about it in order for it to fill our environment better. And we're also going to modify the color. So I'm going to come back over here to the Niagara system and under here where it says shape location under particle spawn, I'm going to widen the box within which it is getting simulated. So I'm going to create it at a thousand by a thousand by a thousand. Go ahead and hit save. That's going to make the particles emit over a much larger area and fill our environment a little bit better. Now we can always modify the amount of particles that are populating our scene by coming over here to spawn rate and upping the spawn rate to something like 100. That's going to fill our environment with a lot more particles. Next thing we're going to do is modify the color of these particles to create some golden color to them. I'm going to come to the initialize particle section here and under color mode, you're going to have a color in this. I can click on it and choose a more golden look to them. Hit save. And now we have some beautiful glowing golden particles. If they're not glowing enough, we can modify this by adding a new material for them. Open up my Niagara simulation again, come to the sprite render section and click on this little icon here to bring us to where this default material is located. Now I'm going to take this material and I'm going to drag it into my effects folder and choose copy. I don't want to modify the original particle material itself. I want to modify a copy. So now I have a copy. I'm going to right click on it and call it M underscore magic dust. Hit enter and I'm going to double click on that to open it. And what I want to do is add a multiplier into this pipe here that's coming into emissive color. So I'm going to drag off of this lerp node and type in multiply and click on multiply here. Connect that up to emissive color. And what I'm going to do is take this and jack it up to 500. This will really depend on your environment, what value works for you, how bright the environment is by default. OK, that's not giving us enough glow, so I'm going to go ahead and go all the way up to 1000. Hit save. OK, now we're going to come back to our Niagara simulation and take our new material, drag it into this material section here, and you should see some much more glowy particles now in your environment. The glowiness themselves is controlled by the bloom, which is located in your post processing volume, which if you haven't already added one, you should do that under the bloom section here. I'm using bloom standard, but you could also use convolution, which is a slightly different, more intensive type of bloom. I'm going to switch it back to standard for now and you can change the intensity here of the bloom on the particles, which is going to be the glow amount. Lower it. You can also change the threshold here if the bloom is not being picked up by the particles, meaning they're not quite bright enough to reach the threshold at which it starts blooming them. So glowing particles are a combination of the emissive intensity of the particles themselves, as well as the bloom, which is picking up on that emissiveness from the particles and blooming it. And there you have it. This looks pretty good. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about about Niagara particle systems and emitters inside of Unreal Engine and you want more of a deep dive, I have an online course which you can find directly below this video, which will walk you through weather effects like rain, snow, and sandstorms. If you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.